everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. This is Sorority Recruitment 101, the channel dedicated to answering the questions you may have about being in a sorority in college or what it's like to go through sorority recruitment. My name is Mackenzie, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my experience being in a sorority at the University of Alabama. So like I said in my previous video, my rush experience was different than a lot of people. I rushed as a sophomore. I'm going to get into that story in a different video, but to start off, I'm a sophomore, it's bid day, it's exciting, it's nerve wracking. I'm super nervous because Rush didn't really work out too well for me freshman year. So sophomore year, I was really hoping to get my top house. So the morning of bid day, I got ready in my apartment, made my way over to the stadium, I met my recruitment counselor and fellow Rokai group, and we were anxiously waiting to open our bids. People from Panhellenic Exec gave speeches that day and basically told us how the rest of the day was gonna go. Then they counted down from 10, they got to one, and we were able to open our bids. I opened up my envelope and I saw that I got my top house and I was ecstatic. Just because this time I prepared more, I made sure I had everything I needed and it ended up working out really well for me. After we all opened our bids, I hugged the girls in my Rokai group goodbye and I went to meet my new pledge sisters. So we ran with our pledge class of 127 over to Kayo and we were greeted with bags full of our jerseys, hats, sunglasses, all the gear that we could want to wear representing our letters and our sorority. I was so excited because my family was actually down for bid day so they got to experience this excitement with me and see what Greek life in Alabama is all about. Once I met up with my family and said hi to them, we all went inside the house for a bid day meal and it was delicious. It's one of our favorite meals at Kayo actually. They bring it back sometimes for game day or sometimes they just have it randomly throughout the week every once in a while and we always get excited because it just reminds us of the great day the bid day was. So after we finished our meal, I said bye to my family because it was time for a meeting to welcome us to Cayo and to tell us about our pledge retreat. So we went to our meeting, learned about what we were gonna do, and then we went home to pack, came back to the house, and all got on a bus together to go to a ranch right outside Tuscaloosa. There we played icebreaker games and got to know each other. We got to tie-dye t-shirts with our letters on them, which was exciting because it was the first piece of clothing we had that was really ours and had our letters on it. Pledge retreat lasted about a few days, and then we headed back to campus. At this point in time, our bid day bigs met up with us to show us around campus and show us where our classes were. Now for me, I was a sophomore, so I knew campus really well, and I knew where all my classes were gonna be, so I didn't really need to do this. Um, and we kind of just hung out together with a group of other sophomores. Fast forward to classes starting, everyone in my pledge class is wearing their tie-dye shirts we made at pledge retreat, which made it so easy for me to pick out my new pledge sisters on campus, made campus feel a little bit smaller, and made me feel like I already had a second family here at school. So we would see each other on campus, walk back to the house together and just hang out or if it was time for a meal we would get in line for lunch or dinner or whatever time it was now the houses for greek life in alabama are beautiful and they're huge like huge mansions but that's just because our chapters are so big like my chapter had over 400 girls in it so we need the space to, in order to house people and have a place for people to hang out during the day one of my favorite parts of the sorority house was that there were always people around any time of day you came by the house there were always people either studying eating lunch or dinner or just hanging out in the informal living room. One of my favorite parts about having the house on campus was that anytime I walked in during the day, I could find people either studying, hanging out in the informal, or eating lunch or dinner together. And it was just so great to always have people to hang out with. Now, as for the meals at Alabama, we actually had meals every day during the week. We had breakfast, lunch, and dinner Monday through Thursday, breakfast and lunch on Fridays, and then the weekends we were on our own. But that wasn't that big of a deal just because there are so many restaurants in Tuscaloosa. And if you're a freshman, there's meal plan options for you. One of my favorite parts of the house was definitely the snack assortments that we had. We had snacks 24 seven, whether it was cookies, Rice Krispie treats, chips, we had a chocolate drawer, which was my favorite. So there was always something you could be munching on, which was a good thing and a bad thing. But campus was so big that we walked around so much that it was totally fine. Now the house was one of my favorite parts about being in a sorority at Alabama, but also I loved the social aspect just because you could meet so many people across campus involved in so many different organizations, which led you to joining different organizations as well. For our formal events, we had date parties, formals, and swaps. Date parties were always really fun because there was always a different theme and you could either bring a date, you could go with your friends, whatever you wanted to do. 
Some of my favorite themes were definitely Tacky Christmas and Cowboys and Aliens and also Rhyme or Reason just because it's so interesting to see everyone's creativity with their costumes and see what they come dressed up as. So for my sorority we had two formals a year. One of them was in the fall. It was short dresses, a little more casual. And then in the spring it was more formal where we would wear gowns and travel to Birmingham or go to a nice restaurant or bar in Tuscaloosa. Formals are always a good time because you bring a date, you get really dressed up, and it's just fun to dance with your friends as always. So the last kind of social we had were swaps, where we would pair with one fraternity and go over to their house and have a party together. This gave us a chance to get to know people in the same pledge class as us, or the pledge year as us in the fraternities. And they always had a theme as well. We had Jersey theme, Dazed and Confused, a rave theme. So there was always something fun to dress up as. These swaps happened weekly. For us, they happened every Thursday. So every Thursday we would meet at Cayo and all head over to the fraternity house together and get to know their pledge class as well. So after all these social events, we also have something called philanthropy events which we host at our house or at somewhere around town to raise money for our philanthropy. My sorority's philanthropy is Make-A-Wish Foundation and I absolutely love the Make-A-Wish Foundation. They really just do so many things for kids in need and make their wishes come true and what could be better than that? Our big philanthropy event was the pancake breakfast that we hosted at our house before a big football game. We would sell tickets at the door to our family and friends and people we knew in town and anyone could basically come into our house and have unlimited breakfast for the morning before the football game. This helped us raise a lot of money and we were able to grant so many wishes throughout the year. One year we even raised $60,000 for Make-A-Wish. We were assigned wish kids every year and with the money we raised, we were able to grant their wishes and send them where they wanted to go. A lot of our wish kids wanted to go to Disney World and we were able to send multiple kids to go to Disney World with their families. One of the wish kids that still stands out to me to this day is Michaela. She was four years old and sadly was diagnosed with leukemia. But with all the money we raised from our philanthropy events and things around town, we were able to send her, her sister, and her parents to Disney World. To celebrate this, we invited her and her family to the house. They were dressed up in their princess costumes. We had a red carpet out the front door and we were able to treat her like a princess for the day. We decorated the house, had all of these princess games to play. We even had a mini inflatable bouncy castle. It was so much fun because Michaela was able to be a princess for the day. We got to tell her she was going to Disney World and we got to spend the whole day with her family. We also had our mascot, Big Al, at the party, which was so funny and made it so much fun. Speaking of Big Al, game days are a huge part being in a sorority. Game days are great. It's a great day for the school's community and for fans all around the world to come back to campus and just be together surrounding something we all love, which is Alabama football. When you're in a sorority on game day, you get to wear a game day pin. Ours said, Kayo loves the tide. I loved wearing it. I thought it was super cute. And it's just a fun tradition that Alabama has. We got these pins in our goodie bags on bid day. And I was so happy we got them then because we were able to wear them the first game that we had. At Alabama, there's also a tradition called block seating, which is a certain section of the stadium is blocked off for sororities and fraternities. So for block seating, the way they determine who sits where is based on your house's GPA and philanthropy hours. So for Kayo, we were really lucky because we had a good GPA and good philanthropy hours, and we actually got the first 10 rows behind the end zone. And it was so much fun. It was great. When my brothers would come visit, I could bring them into the block, and one of my brothers is super into sports, so he was all about sitting front row at an Alabama football game. It was just great watching the game all together because there's nothing better than watching an Alabama football game with all of your best friends. Also during football season, there's homecoming week, which is huge for Greek life at the University of Alabama. We compete in all kinds of events like bowling, basketball, painting the town, and then there's a big competition of the homecoming pomp, which is where you roll the pieces of tissue paper together and glue it on a mural and it becomes this huge picture. It's a lot of work, it's very tedious, but it's beautiful in the end. And my sophomore year, I believe, we were actually on ESPN for hours because we created the college game day desk. It was really, really cool. Now after football season's over, spring semester can be kind of slow, but we all always look forward to spring break because we get to go on vacation together and get to experience a part of the country together. For me, going to Alabama was really great because now I have friends all over the country. I have friends in California, friends in Texas, friends in Nashville, friends in Alabama, friends in Atlanta, friends 
friends in New York City. I'm from right outside New York City, so that's great for me. But during my time in school, I was able to travel to visit where all my friends are from. I went to Nashville multiple times. I went to Dallas. I went to New Orleans. And for my spring break, I would always go to Florida with my friends because it was close enough to drive from Tuscaloosa and had beautiful beaches and we were able to just relax and have a good time. Now in my post-grad years, I do miss being around my friends all the time. But for me, since I live in New York City, I'm able to see my friends more often when they come and visit but it also gives me an excuse to go visit people all over the country. I'm actually planning trips to go to Chicago and Nashville to see some of my sorority sisters. And it's always great because when we get together, it's like one big reunion, even though Tuscaloosa will always be our home. Being in a sorority in college was one of the best decisions I've ever made. I got to meet so many people. I got to do so many different activities, get involved in so many organizations on campus. And it really just made my college experience what it was. I would totally recommend for anyone to join one if they're going to a big school and want to find a small community and have a second family outside of the one you have at home. So that was my experience being in a sorority at Alabama. I just touched on some big topics. If you'd like me to go more in depth on some of them, please let me know in the comments down below. As always, let me know what you wanna see. I wanna help you guys and get your questions answered so you're ready for recruitment. Make sure you subscribe down below so you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next one.